Hey everybody, welcome back to the First Rut blog, First Rut YouTube channel. Uh, if you saw our last video, I was cutting these practice arrows here at home with my Weston saw. Um, and one of the things that I do on all of the arrows that I make here at home is I square both ends of the arrow. I square both the, the, the uh, insert end and the knock end. Uh, and the tool that I've used to do that here at home is this G5 arrow squaring device. And you can look here, it's got one end for an uh, for a aluminum arrow, and then it's got an abrasive end here for a carbon arrow. So I'm clearly using carbon arrows. So, and before I get too far along, this tool is worth every penny of the 35 or $40 you spend to pick it up. Um, very good tool, cheap at the end of the day for what you're doing. So what I like to do when I square an arrow, the first thing I like to do is if you can do this at least if you have an insert that has a lip on it. The Easton Axis arrows that I normally shoot, um, they do not, but these that have, these for practice, you can put that insert in and you can just spin it around and you can see, you can look for daylight between the end of the carbon arrow and the beginning of that insert. And so I can see a little bit of daylight in there, um, which tells me that there's a high side and a low side. So. What I do is I take a silver Sharpie here and I will put a mark all across the end of this arrow. And what that does is that gives me a target. And so when all of that silver Sharpie mark is gone, I know that that arrow is square. So a couple of things that I do when I use this tool is I keep, with my left hand, I keep downward pressure on the tool itself and on the arrow. And the reason that I do that is if you're out here with your right hand spinning this arrow to square it up, you'll see this arrow climb, which doesn't do you any favors at the end of the day if you're trying to square up the end of the arrow. So what I like to do is I've got that mark on there, I lay it in the two valleys on the tool, and I'll start spinning. And so I normally count the number of times that I spin it, and that's more for reference as I go forward, but I'm shooting for 10, 11, 12 the first time and then I'll pull this arrow off and we'll see how square it is. So that actually is pretty good. Now normally when I do this, there's a high side and a low side and it takes more than, more than the first time, but I see a little bit of silver Sharpie still. I'm gonna go ahead and spin this maybe five more times. And with my right hand, as I'm spinning it, I'm applying inward pressure into that abrasive surface while I'm applying downward pressure with my left hand on both the tool and the arrow. And that looks really good. So you can see that silver Sharpie mark is gone. Now my insert's gonna be square here. I'm gonna turn around, I'm gonna do the knock end of this, and then I will start gluing in inserts and I'll have some practice arrows to shoot. Uh, if you saw our video on changing out the mod, on the Matthews Vertex. The reason that I'm doing these practice arrows, uh, the spine aligns with that 60 pound mod. I normally hunt with a 75 pound mod, east and axis arrows, um, but I wanna shoot more this summer and I can shoot a fair number of arrows with a 75 pound mod, but I feel like my form goes a little bit towards the end of the session and I wanna be able to shoot more arrows over the course of the summer as we get a little further along get closer to September and all of us get closer to the fall and hunting season, I'll swap those mods back out. I'll make sure that my Easton axis are still tuned um, and I will shoot that probably for eight weeks or so leading into hunting season. So hope this helps. If you guys like it, hit the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, um, see what else we're coming out with. We'll try to, to uh, put some more videos out there for all of you do-it-yourselfers. Guys, take care. Cheers.